What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today we're taking a look at Webflow's new e-commerce platform. If you're unaware, Webflow is an awesome tool for developing websites visually. You don't need to know how to code, you just need Webflow. That's what it's supposed to be for. And I gotta say, I just finished my first project using Webflow. It was pretty legit, I dig it, I'm kind of into it. So I was excited to hear that they're putting out an e-commerce platform because I might want to, in the near future, set up a web shop to sell some awesome things that I've been making. Today's gonna be kind of a first look, first glance, check it all out, see what it's all about kind of thing. I'm gonna stumble, I'm gonna fumble, I'm gonna try to make a little something and give you my thoughts and feedback. With all that being said, let's make a little store so I can sell some of my tchotchkes. I love the word tchotchkes. Okay, before we jump in and get started and build out some sort of shop, I wanna say there are a few things that I'm looking for out of an e-commerce solution. Uh, number one, I want it to be customizable. I think that's a limitation on a lot of e-commerce platforms is you have to kind of work within the theme or how that third party thing kind of works. I wanna be able to build a shop exactly how I want. I would suspect that Webflow does this because it's a website builder. So number two is I want it to be able to handle all of the inventory logistics and kind of administrative stuff that you would hope from an e-commerce platform, like shipping and taxes and quantities. And I think that's important. I don't wanna manually manage those things. I'm hoping that it has that here. And then lastly, I'm hoping it has some kind of way to get me started. Um, you know, some sort of way to get me up and running, you know, to kind of help me learn the system a little bit. I'm hoping that that's there as well. Hoping we hit those. Let's dive in. Let's see what happens. All right, here we are on the Webflow dashboard. I'm gonna create a new project and I'm just gonna create a blank project. I think that, uh, I'm just gonna make one called Jesse's Shop. I think that there are already, because they're launching the beta, there's some templates that have e-commerce kind of built in. I don't wanna do that though. I just want to set up something really, really simple. So I'll probably fast forward this and drag a few things in and just start creating a really basic layout for my items. Um, let's try that. Okay, we're back. So we've made a basic store. We've loaded like, you know, a, a little slider and like a navigation. I don't have like a cart button. So now we gotta start building out the e-commerce portion of it. So got a couple products here. They're laid out really, really ugly, obviously, but it's a start. So let's see what we can do. Let's open up our e-commerce tab and explore it here. Let's turn your website into a store. It's a beta. Okay, awesome. Um, we'll automatically create two new collections to get you started. Collections, if you don't know, are part of their CMS feature. Um, so let's see how that works. Okay, let's do this. Wow, okay, lots of options here. Um, getting started, uh, that's kind of cool. So it gives you kind of like a list of things to do. That's nice for setup, that kind of is one of those things I wanted, is to get things set up. So I'm gonna click on product, okay. Um, it says I can add a product, let's go new product. Let's call it make rad stuff shirt. Okay, you can put a description there. Um, we could, okay, let's do that. There's our Make Rad Stuff shirt, nice. Um, price, let's, I don't know, $19.99. That's nice thing for, nice price for a shirt. Uh, charge sales tax, yes, inventory tracking. Oh, maybe, maybe I only have 50. Limited edition style, okay. And then I'd have to look and see how you create multiple kind of sizes like large, small, medium, that kind of thing. So, okay, let's say that's the thing. Okay, we created a shirt, we can create a category. So like in here we could call this like shirts and we can choose the shirt to add to that category. We could create another one like pins or something and just create that for later. So you can create categories, you can create products, you can track your your supply or like the you, you know the amount that you have. Here is where, whoa, not ready to publish, but that's where we'd see our orders, I'm guessing. Okay, what else do we need? A business address, shipping method. Let's add a shipping method. Okay, yeah, business name. Business name is me, my name. Okay, so you'd put your address in, you'd have all that kind of stuff, shipping method, tax settings. Um, add a cart, add and design a cart. Well, first off, did we get like a, ah, we did get a cart thing, so. 
We could just drag this up in my net. Carrot can only be placed in nav menu. That's what I was trying to do. Let's just drag it above the nav bar and see what happens. Oh, okay, so we have a cart there. Uh, I see, so when we preview, that's real messy, but. Ah, okay, we have a cart experience right away. That's kind of nice. What if I continue to check out? Could not navigate to the page because we haven't set up the checkout. Oh, snap, okay. And we are gonna try to make a new page here. Obviously, we're gonna call this page product or let's, yeah, let's call it product, I think. Let's do that and let's create that page. And how do we use the template that we just created? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Stage for publish, okay, that's good. I'm wondering how you create collections with the shirts and then get the shirts in there so everything is kind of like more CMS-y. Um, I'm going to just, okay, we have a product, whatever, let's just go off that. Okay, uh, let's add, just add the element, um, add the photo, just drag that up in there, make this smaller. Okay, 400 pixels, whatever, center it. All right, um, and we need to add, let's do an add to cart kind of button inside of there, so that's there. Let's just do a link block up above it. Bam, this is the ugliest site I've ever made, so please just stick with me. Um, let's just drag that in there, holy cow, 10%. Okay, and then the link block will go back to, nope, not a page section, a page. It'll go back to the home, okay? So there's that. So now we can go here, um, and now we can click these, and we gotta edit these though, okay? So this link block needs to go to the page, make red stuff shirt, great. Bam, I should be able to click on that. Okay, we're gonna add it to the cart. Bam, continue to the checkout, place the order. Okay, <laughs> you know, I got a little, I had stumbled a little bit there. Um, so in the middle, but I was able to kind of come back and work it out, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's go back to the home page. So for the most part, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff going on here. I like the getting started aspect of it. I'm sure there's a lot of features and details in there that I'm not looking at or diving into, um, but some of those key things that I was really interested in, which is like, I'd like to be able to customize my store. Obviously you can do that if you take the time. It's just like building an, a, a web flow like site. So um, that's really cool. I feel like I can customize it however I want. The next thing was like all the taxes and the shipping and the administration. It looks like right here you can see uh, that that stuff is there. Um, uh, the other thing was being able to set up multiple different types of products, so like pins and shirts and hats, or placing those items into those categories then, so you have some organization. I think I just need to do a little bit more digging on my end to figure out how collections work and the CMS works, because I haven't actually used that yet, um, so that's probably just user error on my part, but I see how it can work. You create a collection, you insert that collection, and then that way you can just uh, go into the collection and almost like an e-commerce kind of like back room, you can just update what you have and how much you have of them and it'll just kind of like update your store. So that's really, really nice. You don't have to go in and kind of do multiple things. So that's handling all the shipping, the quantities and all the details and logistics. So all in all, I think I'm really excited about Webflow e-commerce. I think it has a lot of potential and I think that if you are a monthly or annual like Webflow user, um, it's gonna be really easy for you to get a store up and running and you don't have to now look for some other integration or, or some other way to make that work. I, I would imagine before this you would have had to export all your code out and then try to theme it into like some other third party thing and that could be really, really frustrating. So now it's kind of an all-in-one solution. So um, CMS, e-commerce, marketing sites, you know, Seems pretty good, seems like a win to me. So um, those are my thoughts on Webflow e-commerce. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and the occasional review like this one, so maybe stick around. Hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and finding new solutions that work for you. I'll see you in the next one.